Rack Fusion 1 is one of our new rack panels, and I don't think it comes any more flexible than this. It has our buttons, RGB backlight, it has encoders and displays to show what functions all those nice interface components are hooked up with. And uh, it's connected to Unisketch as well, so you can install support for tons of broadcast devices and uh, combine and integrate controls so you don't just control a single device but multiple devices from the same panel. Now, um, in this video, I will uh, show you how this panel or inspire you to how this panel could be configured. And uh, let's just first take a bird's eyes look on the panel. It looks like this. We have an, a section with four encoders and they are backlit. So um, you can use the backlight to color code them so it's easy for the user to understand and identify which functions they are related to. Then we have clusters of buttons here which would typically be used for um, up and down or um, basically anything. They are separate buttons so you can assign any functionality to them as you like. Then uh, a group uh, of 12 buttons over here, which again can be associated with whatever you want. Uh, this is LED, uh, sorry, uh, LED bars. We call them LED bars. And uh, in this case, they are associated with some um, uh, program and preview information from the connected ATEM switcher. Now, uh, in terms of the form factor, it's really cool because this one is so low profile that it sits nicely on the desk and it's easily operated from the desk. So you can imagine this panel is put in front of somebody who is in charge of a, a audio adjustment or some parameters or just switching an aux bus or uh, whatever you need. Or, or you can put it in a rack. Uh, again, um, the uh, it's, it really goes nicely into a rack. There's lots of space for the cables and you don't even sacrifice any of this. So we think that we have really made a fantastic product. Um, absolutely. Okay, so uh, let's zoom in and uh, take a look at some of these features. You definitely have to understand this as inspiration. So we didn't mean to really make this a useful setup. Um, what we did here is to connect these parameters to the ATEM switches. Um, camera adjustment. So if we go to the camera section of the ATEM switcher, we should see for camera one that we are actually adjusting iris when we are pulling this knob. So you can see since it is an encoder, we have an incredibly fine tuned um, adjustment of the iris. If I press the encoder, I get into a course mode where I can move this much quicker, as you can see. Likewise, I can adjust the shutter speed using this knob and I can adjust the contrast of the camera, which is not seen here in the interface. Okay. So uh, the final one is actually a different parameter in the ATEM switcher, which is DVE, X and Y uh, parameters, which again can be uh, adjusted with the encoder. And as I press the encoder, you can see I change from one parameter to, to the other. This is how it has been coded in this case. Now, uh, if we look at the other section here with the button clusters, then they are set up to be up and down. So they uh, still correspond to the displays we have uh, just above them. So in this example, microphone one, microphone two, host, guest, and so on, they are labeled as uh, you could imagine that you wanted to label them for your particular use case. Uh, but the buttons are basically just used as up and down. So um, over here, we have a section where these are just simply routing something to auxiliary one and ATEM switcher. Uh, so if you want to see that, I can bring this one up and then you can see how we change an input source on auxiliary one. And uh, by the way, for the audio, if you want to see uh, how I'm adjusting audio, this is essentially camera one that I have given the label microphone one and this would be camera two for microphone two and so forth. Okay, so that was uh, just a quick uh, look at the Rec F uh, Fusion 1. Uh, and I think we'll come up with a video with more uh, concrete examples of how it can be used. But just keep in mind that with Unisketch and these hardware components, you are able to map it to any function you want to control in the universe of our device course, which makes this a super flexible panel in a fantastic form factor, really versatile on the desk or in a rack or wherever you want to take it in a flyaway kit. <laughs>